Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. What a wonderful day that God has blessed us to be in his house one more time. And we give him glory, honor and praise. Today, I want to share with you out of Genesis, the 43rd chapter, verses 1 through 18. You know, the famine continues in Canaan. And Joseph's brothers and sisters find themselves now with their father, Jacob. Jacob tells them the food is starting to run out. Go back and buy us a little bit more food. But Judah says the man who has warned us and who has told us what needs to happen if we go back. He says, if we go back, we have to bring Benjamin with us. And Benjamin is the baby boy. Benjamin is the son that. His father loved so dearly. He has felt that he has already lost Joseph. And now how could he leave and how could he lose Benjamin? So he says, if you guys don't go back, we're all going to starve to death. So he says, take your brother with him and I will make sure that God blesses you as best I can. I'm praying for you. So as they leave, the brother says to his dad, dad, I'm going to take him back and I guarantee his safety. The father says that if he dies or if he doesn't come back, I would have lost both of my baby boys, the ones that I've loved so dearly. And he says, don't worry about it. We're going to do what we can. And as they leave, they take the money. They take double than what they took the first time because they want to make sure that they're in the good graces. They want to make sure that they've packed enough gifts. So Jacob gives them everything that they need, gives them a double portion. He goes off with Benjamin. And as they get there and get to the palace, gets to the place where they're to get everything that they need, they begin to go in. And as they go in, Joseph meets them. Joseph begins to recognize who they are. And it is because of this, he wants to make sure that everything happens just fine. So Joseph gives them everything that they need, but he puts the money that they brought to him back in their bags. He sends out his men. He says, put back in their sacks the money that they were going to pay for me. And I'm going to say that they stole it. And then you bring them back. He does this so that he can have his baby brother with him to make sure that he has time with him. And then they have to go back and get their father. This text on today begins to remind us how God reunites family, how God brings us together. And Joseph had a plan, a plan that they didn't know about because God had a bigger plan of getting the family all together again. This text begins to remind all of us that God is always working, even sometimes when we don't see him working. He even works in our frailties. God blesses us even when we're at the point that we don't realize what will hold what will be um, what the future will hold for us. But we know he holds the future today. I want to remind you, God holds your future. God knows exactly what's going on because God has a plan that we know not of. And God will always guarantee our safety in him, because if we trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge him, he'll direct our paths. We pray that God will bless you on today and that God will give you all the blessings that you need because you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And I look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.